it's okay to be a little selfish with yourself also. My therapist told me, and I have to remember, and I've been saying it out loud to people I know, and it sounds selfish <laughs> to think about yourself. We are conditioned to worry about the whole, the whole, the whole world, the whole picture, every single person. And I love people and I care about people and I want to help and I want to be happy and I want everyone to get help and be happy. But a lesson I've learned in the last few months is that I'm not taking care of myself and my needs and my desires enough. And so by the time you turn the mirror back onto yourself, there's not a lot there. So I'm learning it's okay to be selfish. Part of self-care means you care for yourself. <laughs> and no one's gonna make sure you're okay. You have to make sure you're okay so you can give and you can be the best version of yourself. That is the best gift you can give to anyone is provide them with the best version of yourself. Can you imagine the care and the love and the results if you could come to the table every time with 100%? But in order to have and give 100%, you need to be 100%. So that's where that comes in. Be a little selfish for yourself for your own mental space for your own happiness for your own peace for your own future for everything you touch following that moment yourself mentally you will break your body down physically you will be resentful you will be bitter you will be jaded you will be angry at those closest to you and people around you if you don't take care of yourself I don't necessarily mean our kids but even then you have to create boundaries and pull back and um, make sure that mommy or daddy has some time so that I can be okay so you set them up, you know, in a situation where they can be okay. And you do something for yourself or you work on yourself or something that needs to be done so you can bring the best version of you to the table. This cannot be done for anyone but you. And if you value those around you, you have to. Part of me feels selfish for focusing on the things I need right now. I don't even recognize myself sometimes with where I am going, but I feel a lot of good in it as well when I don't, when I'm not beating myself up, forgiving everybody as much as I used to. It feels good to say no. It feels weirdly good. <laughs> it's crazy. And then when I'm ready, I do it. And I'm happy to do it then. Instead of dragging and including it onto a day that was already 99% full. And giving you that 1% that I have left and expecting you to be grateful or appreciate me for it. So I'm creating boundaries and I'm loving it. I'm saying no. I decide who and what I give to anyone and what they get from me. And I love it. It makes me happy with myself, in myself, for myself. Mm. And with the help of my therapist, I'm realizing that it's okay. And there's a negative stigma on the word selfish because it means you're thinking of yourself. 
like you're your only thought and it's all for your own good but that's not necessarily a negative thing it doesn't mean I forgot about others it just means I've allowed myself time to refill my own cup and be okay and give them the world my family my child the best version of myself anything I put into any work any projects any task now gets a better outcome because I'm going into it rested and ready and ready to take it down. So it's okay to be selfish and do something that makes you happy. Sometimes that means creating boundaries and space within people within your own circle. People and how you maneuver and how you interact with them will sometimes dictate and tell you once you are really willing and ready to make those adjustments where they fit in your life and where you need to put them in your life. I will not operate any longer with things that are not good for me. I will not. then I will be empty because I gave it to someone who took and took and took and took because some people will do that they will see what they do to you and they will still keep taking because you will keep giving because you've always done it and when you change and you finally say no then you're a bad person because you're finally saying no this is coming out of nowhere. I'm changing. I'm the bad person. You know, they, that's how it's put back on me. This is my fault. I did it. Because I'm acting new. I'm changing. I'm no longer letting you take so much from me. Don't let people like that get to you. Because they will always be out there. Relationships with other people require give on both sides for it to be healthy. Giving and receiving, compromising, growing, understanding, compassion, respect, love. There are so many things. I am really learning the outlines of a human relationship right now. And it is tricky. Even the ties that bind people together. You have to be happy and healthy and safe. You have to feel comfortable growing and understanding. And you have to be supported and encouraged and uplifted. Hmm. Or else it may not be the right thing for you. Change is scary. And boundaries, creating boundaries and the immediate feelings that come with them are uncomfortable a little bit, scary, but they're exciting. And I feel good. So I know that means that they're working also. Because it, I'm telling people how I want to be treated. And now they have to adjust and show me that in order to get me my time, my energy. And some people, to be honest, it's been going on for so long that you may not have more opportunities. And I have to be okay with that. And they have to learn to be okay with that. And they won't be right away, but... You can't say that you didn't give as much or get as much from me as you could because I know I gave, I gave, I gave, I gave, I gave when I had none. But it's okay now. That is what therapy has taught me. So that is what I'm telling you. It's Wednesday. I'm so wise. Or at least I'm working on it. I'm, I'm happy. I'm not happy all the time. Um, I am happy some of the time. I'm, ha I'm unhappy the other portions of times. I am strong. I am vulnerable. I am healing. I am broken. I am great. 
I am growing. I am so happy. I am scared at the places and the person I am becoming and the places I am going and the things I see myself doing. I am intimidated by all the greatness I see myself pursuing and all the things I now see within my own grasp. And that's just growth and that's me being selfish. And it only happened when I started being this way. How crazy is that? So I think that's all the words of wisdom I have for now. I'm about to leave the beach because I've been here for an hour and a half, almost two hours, and I still have a whole life. So I feel good. I have enough to give to the world, I think, today. And that will be enough. Talk to you all later.